Hi, it's Saturday night, the 30th of January, day 395. Today's Living the Dream experience was a simple fact that I was able to finish six Saturdays where I simply decided what I wanted to do, when I wanted to do it, and where I wanted to do it, and I did it. Because I don't have any boss anymore who says I can uh, do this or I can't do that. Uh, or where I can do it and when I can do it. I have all those choices to myself now. I look in the mirror and say, Marty, what do you want to do? That's what being your own boss affords you. These kinds of choices truly make for a live in the dream experience. That's for sure. Anyway, here's my power statement I had for today. For two more days, Today and tomorrow, I'm going to continue doing my repetitive self-talk to reinforce my remapping of thinking upon my personal success about my coaching style and how I see myself as a coach. Then on Monday, I'll change things up and focus on something else that I know can change or improve me going forward. I didn't hear back from Angela again today. On Saturday, I didn't expect that. It has been an entire week now, and so I'll be reaching out to Google Ads again come Monday to get someone else to help me with the new video ad so that I can get it to go live one more time. But for today, I have a few things I still need to get done, and then I'm going to take the rest of the day off I had here in my notes. Well, let me tell you what happened. Here's my to-do list for today, right there. Wasn't good. Got those all done today. Bam! My most important task for today was to write up a script for my bit.ly ringless voicemail campaign. It'll be short and sweet and will include the link that is shortened that people can take and use in several ways of marketing. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. My fun task for today was doing this video journal entry tonight, giving my mind the assignment to come up with things I'm grateful for as an important part of how I set the table for success for the next day. And that's what I want to do for tomorrow and every day going forward. And my exciting task for today was to get up to the office and get the few things I had to do on my to-do list all done as soon as I could get them so I could take the day off early and enjoy the rest of my Saturday with my wife, Kathleen. Well, I was able to do all of that. Got it done. So my end of the day success routine question says, get honest with yourself, Marty. What didn't go well today? Or what could you have done better today? Did you wake up early and start strong? Did you start your morning with power? Were you productive throughout your day? Did you get the most important things done? Did you move your goals forward? I say check to all five of those. Check, 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 check. Did you show up as the person you wanted today? For a Saturday, I did. I was there from half the afternoon and beyond, so it was a wonderful day. Kathleen gave me her personal time, a little bit of it, and we spent the rest of the evening together, and she was present for me, and so I was present for her. Next on my end-of-the-day success routine accountability questions. Were you honest with yourself about today's task, Marty? In other words, did you keep your promises that you made this morning? Well, this morning I promised myself that I would get up to the office and finish the few tasks I had on my to-do list and as soon as I could get them done so I could take uh, the day off early and enjoy my Saturday and hopefully have some fun time with Kathleen. Well, that's what I did, and so by noon, I was off. It was great. The next question is, what movies did you watch during your mindfulness time today, Marty? Did you make time for them? And were there any new instant pre-play movies that you saw? Well, during my mindfulness time, I watched my must-see TV favorite five movies. And then I had breakfast, and I headed right up to the office to get after it. My next question is, what was the one thing that you'd make all the difference going forward and, and that you can improve on? Well, like I said, I'm going to keep doing my repetitive mind mapping self-talk to, through tomorrow. And however, uh, since tomorrow's a Sunday, here's my power statement that I have for tomorrow. I'm going to simply focus on sharpening my saw all day, period. During my mindfulness time tomorrow, I'm continuing to do my thought downloading and how I want to see myself as a coach and how I want to show up as a coach to my beginner entrepreneur clients, but I'm going to relax and renew my mind, that's for sure. Like I've said many times this past month, I'm continuing to do that thought downloading because it helps me as a beginner entrepreneur coach have the right thinking. Like I've said many times this past month, it's been very motivating and very helpful to keep my thoughts focused on what I need to be thinking about before I get a bunch of entrepreneur clients so I'm ready to go. The next question of my end of the day success routine is to ask myself, were there any mistakes or failures that I can turn into a tool of success going forward? Well, I finished a few tasks that I had this morning without any mistakes or incidents of failure. So no, there is no need to turn a failure into a success. The next question is, what was your biggest success today then, Marty? What did you do well? Well, my biggest success today, I think, was finishing my task this morning and then letting things be as far as work goes, just be, and enjoying the rest of the day with Kathleen. 
My next end of the day success routine question asked me to rate my day's effort. Well, I gave today a nine. I gave it a nine because I worked at the speed of 10 all morning so that I finished early and was able to leave work, but because I took the rest of the day off, I dinged myself a point. Okay, I want to end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. I'm grateful for the principle that says, keep your eye on the big objective, the big picture. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Too often, we're like the salesman who, after failing to win the sale, reports back to his manager by saying, yes, but I sure convinced uh, the customer that he was wrong. In selling, the big picture, the big objective is winning the sale, not the arguments. In marriage, the big objective is peace happiness, tranquility, and not winning quarrels or saying, I could have told you so. In working with our employees, the big objective is developing their full potential, not making issues out of their minor errors. In living with neighbors, the big objective is mutual respect and friendship, not seeing if you can have their dog impounded because once in a while it barks at night. It is much better to lose a battle and win the war than to win a battle and lose the war. Let's resolve to keep our eyes on the big objective. These principles lead to the next thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the law of the big picture, which says most successful people thoroughly understand and apply the law of the big picture, which says the goal is more important than the role. It requires that all members of a team are committed to visualizing and understanding a common goal and working in sync with each other to make it happen. In a society that heaps accolades on people who win individual gold medals and where people battle for rights instead of coming together to take responsibility, people are inclined to miss the big picture. In fact, some people give the impression that they think they are the whole picture. Everything turns on their wishes, their ambitions, and their wants. A team isn't meant to be a collective of people being exploited by one person for self-seeking profit. Team participants must have jointly advantageous common targets. They must be inspired to act collectively, not be controlled by someone for personal triumph. Someone who is used to bringing people together and directing them to advance his or her own agenda isn't a team player. They're a tyrant, actually. If you desire to see team forces at work, look at the venue of sports where you can clearly see when people are cooperating with each other. The result of a game is fast and unquantifiable. That is, it's simple to see where a player is acting only for his own glory and not pursuing the common aims and ideals of the team. For a business to win, team members must certainly hold the big picture in the fore. They must bear in mind that the target is more important than their part or any singular stardom they may crave. True team players, team players say, I'll do whatever it takes to help the business win. Whether it's stocking the shelves, helping a customer, helping another team member win a sale, or making a big sale myself. That's the team spirit. This leads me to the next thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for Bill Belichick who said, there's an old saying about the strength of the wolf is the pack. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. On a football team, he says, it's not the strength of the individual players, it's the strength of the unit and how they all function together, end quote. A person who forms a winning team always remembers that each individual on the team has a position to play and each position supports the big picture. Vince Lombardi, coach of the Super Bowl winning Green Bay Packers in the 1960s said, individual commitment to a group effort, that's what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, and even a civilization to work. Leaders at the uppermost level appreciate the law of the big picture. They persistently work at holding the concept of the big picture in front of themselves and their people. And that's the kind of approach it takes to build and maintain a winning team. Often teamwork involves letting go of professional fulfillment, personal goals, or one's own fame. But the rewards are worth it. In fact, Michael Jordan said this, talent wins games for sure, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. What a winner he is. I'm going to leave it there because I've had a lot more to share and things. I'm kind of tired and achy, and that's okay. It's been fun sharing these thoughts with you. I've got more for tomorrow night. I'll be right back here at my laptop sharing more on my thoughts for these concepts. But until then, I do. I sincerely wish you continued success. Good night.